All right, so to factorize this one, uh, we've been told to factorize completely. So we must use the idea of difference of two squares. So how did I know that I'm supposed to use the idea of difference of two squares? It's because of the minus sign and the power two here, okay? So let me just give you an example on how difference of two squares work, okay? So difference of two squares works, let's say you've been given a, to factorize x, okay, power 2 minus a 4. And they say factorize completely. So to apply difference of two squares, difference of uh, two squares here, you need to, you need to first check what number do we have in front here? It's a 1, of course, isn't it? We have a 1, okay? Of which, even if we don't write it, okay, we know that there is a 1 in front. So all the bases that we're able to see, we have to make sure that they have got a power 2. So here we have x power 2. And minus here, what number are we going to write? It's a 2 and a power 2. Or you can find the square root of 4. What is the square root of 4? It's a 2. And then you say 2 power 2. We wanted all the bases to have a power 2. So here there is a power 2 and here there is a power 2. Of which when we work out here, it will take us to a 4. So once you reach this point, you just say x okay, minus a 2. You just copy what is here. And then uh, the same thing, you copy it. Now this time around, you put a plus. So you see... I've just copied what is here, the basis, x minus a 2 without the powers. I write it. And then the same thing I copy, write it here. I put a plus. And this is what we call difference of two squares, or the idea which has happened here. And this is the idea we need to apply here to answer the, the question. So let's check. We have uh, 32 x power 2 minus a 50. So now, here we said that we have to make all the bases having power 2. So we need to make this here having a power 2, here having a power 2. Now, how did we do here? We said we find the square root of 4, of which it was 2. And then we said 2 power 2, it gave us, a, it, it's taking us back to a 4. Now here, we have a 32. Do we have any number that we can write and then we square it, it gives us 32. No, we don't have. What about 50? We don't have. Okay. Or can we find a square root of, uh, of, 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 of 32? No. Square root of 50? No. So what are we going to do? We're going to find or we factor out a 2. We know that 2 can go into 32 and 2 can go into 50. Okay. So we have factorized. We have factored out a 2. Here we shall have a 16 x power 2 minus 25 there like that okay so now after getting this are we done no we are not done because uh, here we can see that now we can apply the difference of two squares this idea here can be applied inside so we're going to say a 2 here and here square root of uh, 16 it's a 4 we put a power 2 there you see base here 4 and the power 2, such that when we say 4 to the power 2, it will give us a 16. Here, the same. There's a power 2 there. Here, square root of 25, it's 5, and then we write a power 2 there. So this is a stage. You see this stage? It's the stage we have reached right here. Okay. So now from this stage, we can now do our final part, where we need to write a 2, 4 there, x minus 5, okay, like we did here, next we copy and write it like this, change the, the sign. So we're going to copy what is here, change the sign to plus and the 5 there. So this is what we call difference of two squares and this is our solution. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe. This has been Sinchamba Jacob. And if you're watching this video on Facebook, remember to also subscribe to my youtube channel if you are watching on my youtube channel you can also follow me on my facebook page as well as uh, tiktok